Jeans from Florida. Hi guys! So, first of all, let's do a little outfit moment! Wait, where's my hat? Okay. So this is my outfit of the day, my OOTD. We have this adorable little Mickey shirt that I bought recently. I love it so much. And then I have my little cute black shorts, my gym shoes, and my marble hat. Do we love that? Today I'm spending the day in Animal Kingdom. And I'm so hyped. You guys know I've made food videos at Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and now I'm gonna try a ton of the food in Animal Kingdom. So I already have reservations for dinner at the, I forgot the name, but it's like a character dining buffet moment. And you guys know, <laughs> me and the characters have social anxiety with each other. Well, I think it's one-sided. I think I just have social anxiety with them. And so I was like, you know, Timmy, face your fears even more. Have another character dining experience. So I might meet Mickey. I might meet Goofy, that goofy looking dog. I'm also going to be eating a lot of different things for breakfast, lunch, snacks, desserts, everything. So stay tuned. You guys know I have three stomachs like a cow, so I'm going to fit right into Animal Kingdom. And of course, I'm also going on all the rides besides Cali River Rapids. I don't feel like getting wet. I'm sorry, girl. I'm doing it all and I'm bringing my GoPro with the hand strap thing so I can vlog during all the rides. Ah! I'm excited. And you might be thinking, Timmy, where are you staying? I'm staying at the Drury Inn. My review of this hotel went up last week, so if you haven't seen it, watch it after this. But first watch this, because it's the new one, so I'm gonna care about it more when I post it. <laughs> and because I'm not staying on the Disney property, I have to drive myself to Animal Kingdom, and this is my first time driving to a Disney park by myself. So I'm excited to go through the whole parking experience. I've never done it. I think that I get free parking because I'm an annual pass holder, so I'm going to try that out today. If they don't let me, that's going to be embarrassing, but it's fine. Let me Google it first, just in case. I don't want to be embarrassed. Before we take off to Animal Kingdom, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It really, really helps my channel out, and I'm really excited about doing more theme park content, so your support on these videos specifically means the world to me. Also, if you're new here, subscribe. I make theme park content, fast food content, restaurant content, hotel content. It's a great time here. Anyways, enough rambling, Timmy. Let's go to Animal Kingdom. Ooh. Okay, I'm in line for parking. Um, parking is free for pass holders, which is amazing. So I have to get my little pass holder thing up. Hold on. Got it. What do I say? I'm a pass holder. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. I'm a pass holder. So um, do I go in free? You're an annual pass holder? Yeah, annual pass holder? Yeah, just need some ID to match the name. Oh, okay, sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, you get free parking. It's my first time doing this. I didn't know that. I had as to get an annual ID. pass? Yeah? Yeah, annual pass holders always get free parking. Awesome. Thank as, you as so much. As a Disney much. Hotel or annual pass, it's free parking. Have a wild Thank day. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Have a wild day. Speed bump girl it scared me. <laughs> Have a wild day, sir. He was so nice. What a king. Here we go. I guess I'm just gonna follow everyone else. <gasps> I see Pandora. Pandora. The Avatar movies, to me, well, the second one, to be honest, was a little bit boring. I'm sorry. I totally get the visual stunning vibes, girly. Like the VFX 8, but. The second movie story was like the same as the first movies, but they had kids this time. Big whoop. I don't care. <laughs> Do you think I care? But the first Avatar is iconic. Although it does sort of have Pocahontas' story. So I think the Avatar writers need to stop recycling. I mean, recycle, it is good for the earth, but not a script. Anyways, I'm just rambling because I'm excited. Parking, where do I go? Which lane? This one? All guest parking. Okay, yeah, this is it. Thank you, sir. He's pointing for me. Thank you. Thank you. She's pointing too. Oh, they're all so helpful. I know that I've said this before, but the annual pass really is so worth it if you live near Disney. Free parking, discounts on some food, I think, a lot of merch, and this is not sponsored by the mouse. I wish it was though, girl. Okay, I'm gonna get some right here. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, keep going forward. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> he just kept saying, come forward, come forward. I was like, I'm going to get out of the spot, sir. Okay. My first time parking at Disney went very well. I'm very pleased. We're here and it is 9.17 a.m. So it's perfect time for breakfast. That is the first thing on the agenda. Breakfast, girl. I'm hungry. I haven't had any food besides my fish pills for my dry eye, which were quite filling. And my vitamins. And they're gummy vitamins, so it, it is kind of like food, but <laughs> I need actual food. So now, 
we have to walk all the way. No, oh, there's a tram. I thought we had to walk all the way there, but there's a tram coming, it's fine. This is me on the tram. I felt very peaceful in this moment and my inner bro kind of came out. And honestly, I think it's cause I was on an automobile and I just started thinking about cars and trucks and trains and football and dirt rubbed on steak and cooked on a barbecue we are here so that's a security guard and i was like he has a very loud voice because he's like so like far away i can hear him so clearly i think he has a little speaker on him <laughs> with a little microphone it's time for baggage check now baggage check takes a while for me because I have a billion pockets and they check every single one, which is a good thing. Okay, the bag check line was like super short, so it went quick, <laughs> but the guy checking my bag was like, he was like, this is such a small bag and it has a thousand pockets. You're making me work today. And I was like, sorry. <laughs> there it is. Guys. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm so excited. Oh my God. By the way, they have a Rainforest Cafe right at the entrance and I've never done like a full Rainforest Cafe video. So I'm definitely gonna do that in the future. 24 hours there for sure. It's giving cow, it's giving moose, it's giving lion, it's giving emu. <laughs> okay, we are in, in the park. Look guys, look at the greenery. The um, employee that like did my fingerprint pass thingy, she saw my magic band. And she was like, I love that so much. I want to get my son one. <laughs> we love an ally. Look how pretty. What I love about Animal Kingdom is it's extremely peaceful. Even if it's crowded, the vibe is just like air and oxygen from the trees, you know? And yes, I'm going to sightsee a lot, but right now, the only thought on my mind is food. So we're going to go find breakfast. Um, <laughs> um I heard... Uh, <laughs> Um, I, I love that spirit. Love that. I know that they have breakfast. Look how pretty guys. Oh my God. I, I'm like so distracted. I know that they have breakfast tacho somewhere. And you guys know I love any type of tacho. So I think I might have that for breakfast. I just have to check the Disney app and find out where. <laughs> oh my God, the tree of life. You guys know that I named my um, forehead name the tree of life recently. It typically pops out if I lean forward. <gasps> Do you see it? It's named after this. See, that's Disney spirit, girl. If you've never been here, there's a bunch of like animals carved into the tree. Do you see them? There's a lion. There's a fish. What else? A bowl, I think, or a water thing. What's it called? Water crest. I think that's a deer or an antelope or something. That looks like a centipede. <laughs> Is that me? I don't know, guys. We are going to Africa first because I found out that that's where the tachos are. Apparently they have nacho cheese. Um, breakfast tachos don't really sound like an authentic African dish, but you know, we gotta feed the tourists, girl. I also really wanna try some like real African food today because I know that they, they have some. And fun fact, if you didn't know this about me, I lived in Africa for a year and a half when I was 11. And back then my, my palate just wanted mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. So I did not like any of the food there, but now I love all the different cuisines. So I would love to try something i don't know let's see we're entering africa memories this is the little cafe that has the tachos you can see them there kind of oh there they are down there it's called the ku safari coffee shop and bakery the line is long though because i think it's one of the only places that serves breakfast here so we're just gonna have to wait well, that's fine we have time it is 9 a.m and the park closes at 7. i plan to stay here the whole time so so this is what's in it. Potato barrels, scrambled eggs, mustard cheese sauce, cheese curds, and crumbled bacon. $10.99. Okay, so these are the tachos. Look at the cheese curds, guys. It has eggs, bacon. Oh my god, I'm so ready. Okay, so it's not the best lighting, but I found a little place to eat with a seat and shade. There was someone sitting next to me. And they moved the moment I started filming. But that was totally fine. I, it was funny. Okay, right, let's try it. <laughs> oh my god. Let's try a cheese curd. Oh my god. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh my god, it's so bad. It's also like the perfect size for like a breakfast, it isn't too big. 
Oh my god. It's incredible. The tots are perfect, crispy. Nacho cheese is like trashy nacho cheese, like the processed stuff, which I love. It's perfect. The bacon is so crispy. The eggs taste totally real, which is a compliment because a lot of places use powdered eggs. These don't taste powdered. And the green onions add such a nice little oniony vibe. I like how the cheese curds taste on their own, but I don't think that their texture goes well with everything else. I think that they just kind of throw things off balance a little bit. Everything else is crispy and saucy, and then the cheese is really bouncy. And it's supposed to be, but it just doesn't go. I still love these though. They're slaying me. Mmm, what a great start to the day, guys. I chose really good. I'm sorry. They also have like a like an omelet breakfast sandwich, but when you have the choice between a sandwich and tachos, if you choose a sandwich, I don't think you have your priorities correct, girl. I's sorry about that. Okay, I think the lighting's better now. <laughs> guys, do you like my nails? I just did a simple black because I just wanted to serve like rock star. <laughs> Rebel. You know, I don't listen to the rules, but at the end of the day, I listen to every single rule. That's how I am. Every time that I wear something angsty, I feel like Olivia Rodrigo. I do. Also, guys, every time that I go to Disney, I get so many comments from you guys saying like, I have never been to Disney and I'm living it through you. And that makes my whole day. I just want you to know that I don't take coming to Disney all the time for granted. I am so grateful that I'm able to do this because of you guys watching. Like you're the reason why. So I'm just happy that we can go on these adventures together. You know? Mm. And what can I say? I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. It would have been a 10 without the cheese curds, but otherwise, it's perfection. Highly recommend it, girl. I actually left all the remaining cheese curds. <laughs> but I'm grateful for them. Okay, so breakfast is done. I'm not too full, which is a good thing because I want a snack before lunch, girl. So now I think we should go on Everest. We should start the day out with the biggest, best ride there is. And I did buy the Genie Plus for the day, but I think Everest has a single rider line. So I'm a single rider today. <laughs> so I'll be able to go on pretty quickly, I think. Oh my gosh, guys, after I stopped filming, this girl came up to me and was like, where'd you get your food? Because it looks so good. And I was like, oh, it's, it's like right down there. I was like, it's called Breakfast Tachos. They're amazing, get them. And she was so nice, it was so cute. Oh wait, Everest is in Asia, so it's this way. We are entering Asia, guys. Look how beautiful. Look at that, oh my God. So peaceful. Excuse me. Why did I not know about this? Stuffed pancake sandwich, sausage, guava piece, egg and cheese. <gasps> I love guava. Should I have a second breakfast after Everest? <laughs> Cause I kind of want to, girl. A stuffed pancake, I've never heard of that. That's a piece of art. Also, if my sunglasses are always low, it's because when I wear sunscreen, it makes the glasses slide. Cause I have this really thick pasty sunscreen that I use. So <laughs> that's why. Guys, there's Everest. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So it goes all the way up, up there. And it's a lot higher than it looks. You're gonna see it when I go pro. Oh, I love it so much. They're going up guys. That drop is the scariest part. Oh, plus it goes backwards in the dark. Oh! <laughs> the single rider line is not long at all. There's like 10 people in front of me. So I'm going on the They're cool guys. Little like knickknacks from the mountain.
on it. So in the first dark part, we were going backwards, but it went so fast. And then in the last dark part, you see this giant Yeti trying to grab you. And fun fact, actually, it's supposed to be like moving, but it's like frozen. It's been broken for like years and years and years. And they haven't fixed the Yeti. I thought like a whole like a little special on it. It was iconic. They have the cute version and the scary version. <laughs> Y'all Yeti for this? <laughs> so I've decided to have a second breakfast. <laughs> I might not eat the whole thing, but I really want to try that pancake guava sandwich. Stuffed thing, whatever it's called. So I'm going back, girl. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it's really... That bird. What an attention seeker. What do you think this is, Animal Kingdom? <laughs> it's People Kingdom. So it's surprisingly really big and really heavy. And I'm obviously not gonna eat the whole thing. I just have to save room for lunch, but I had to try, guys, I had to. I found this really cute seating area that's like under the shade and it's next to the water. Look, do you see the water, the agua? So pretty, right? Okay, let's open this up. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, it's so hot, it's so hot, whoa. That is a thick pancake, girly. <gasps> I'm shooketh. We need a close up. This is it. You can see the guava poking out right there. Oh my God. That's the thickest pancake I've ever seen in my life. Should we try it? It's so hot. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. I didn't get any filling. Everything's flying away. The pancake itself. All I got was pancake. Oh, but it's good, girl. Wowie, wowie, wow. Who's talking? Oh, it's so good. Oh, there's a boat coming. <laughs> oh my god. It's the up character. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Yes. <laughs> so random. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, let me get a bite of everything. It has cheese, guava, <laughs> which sounds like a weird combo, but. I mean, I like cream cheese and guava, but this is like cheddar cheese or something. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, this works. It's like a McGriddle from McDonald's, but fancier and classier. Mmm. Oh, this is guava. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> wow, that was a movie moment. This is incredible. If you want like a really heavy brick of deliciousness for breakfast, this is for you, girl. Mmm, mmm. Sausage tastes amazing, egg tastes fine. Cheese adds the saltiness and then the guava almost acts as a syrup, but like a tropical syrup. You get me? And it really goes so well with everything. Even the cheese, it goes so good with the pancake. The pancake's not too sweet. Overall, it's mostly salty with a hint of sweet and a hint of guava. And that makes it taste a little special. This is delicious. It's just so hot. Like, I don't know how they cook this in the depths of hell, <laughs> but it's hot, girl. Next. So next up, I think we're gonna go to Dino Land USA. They have this like little roller coaster that like spins. It's actually terrifying, <laughs> like for real. And they also have Dinosaur, which I love that ride so much. It like shakes you around. <laughs> Guys, I'm so grateful for the weather today. It is hot, but it's in the 80s. So in Florida, that's what we call a blessing. On my last trip, it was, I think like 96, 97, around there. There was sweat dripping into my eyes the whole day. Anyways, Dino Land USA is coming up, guys. I heard that they're remaking this into like an Encanto land or like it has something to do with Encanto and I'm all for it because I like Encanto more than dinosaurs. <laughs> Sorry. Dino Rama. So this is Dino Land. It's like a fair themed type of place. See? It is kind of empty, but <laughs> um, excuse me? <laughs> the crazy mouse roller coaster is gone. <laughs> okay, Encanto's really coming through. It used to be right here. <laughs> it disappeared. I'm very confused. I didn't know they took it out already. 
I always called it the Crazy Mouse Ride because it was very similar to the Crazy Mouse Ride that's like typically at fairs, but it was actually called Primeval Whirl, and now it's gone. It whirled away. <laughs> it went back in time, back to the Primeval. What? I'm really shook up about that. Well, I just got a fast pass for Dinosaur, so we are doing that. It might be kind of dark, but I'm gonna try to go pro and see what footage I can get. It might be like flashes of my face and things like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is dinosaur. Look at that zaddy dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. So this is based on a movie, I think from the early 2000s that I have never seen. Alejandro has, and he always raves about it <laughs> and says that it was like one of his like childhood movies. I don't know how it got its own ride when it's not super well known, but it did good for it. An underdog. Look at this crusty king, ancient, dusty. <laughs> Basically, it isn't a roller coaster. It doesn't have like any like big drops. It's almost like you're like in a car and there's like tons of bumps and turns and twirls and it's so much fun. It's it's thrilling. It's just not a roller coaster. We are out of Dino Land USA and I found this really cute, serene path. No one's here. It's so nice. <laughs> oh. Uh, this is so fun. Are you guys having fun with me? My friend Brett is a Disney pro and he told me to try a bunch of different snacks, and these are two of them. It's the buffalo chicken chips, house-made chips served with buffalo chicken and blue cheese dressing, topped with tomato and celery relish. I'm gonna ask for no blue cheese if it's possible. And then the Trillo Bites Twist, it's a Dole Whip orange and vanilla soft serve. Oh my God. It's almost lunchtime, but honestly, I think in, instead of having lunch, I'm just gonna have like little things like this throughout the day until dinner. I think that's a bit more fun. And that way I can try a lot more things, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. Can I get the buffalo um, chicken chips without uh, blue cheese dressing, if that's possible? Just no blue cheese? Yeah, no blue cheese dressing. And then I'm also a um, Trillo Bites Twist. Okay, girly, so I am sitting in the serene path. It's very peaceful, <laughs> but there's like, um, like a character walking around here. It's the big tall bird from Up. And I'm very confused by it because it's so tall and I don't know how someone's in there. It doesn't make sense to me and it's squawking. It's squawking at people. I think it's gonna pass by here in a second. But look, I got this green orange uh, Dole Whip soft serve. Looks so good. And I got the buffalo chips without the blue cheese. Do you see it? It has a celery uh, relish on it. Now I typically don't love celery, but when it comes to, to buffalo type things, it actually tastes really good. So I'm here for it. I think I should first try this before it starts melting. It's so green, guys. Tomorrow morning, something's gonna be bright, and that's for sure. <laughs> that's so good. This beats normal Dole Whip, 100%. It's like an orange creamsicle situation type deal. Mm. Oh my God. So the orange side of it, is a little more tart and a little more orangey. And then this side is a little more creamy. But they both taste like orange. It's just one side is less orange. Mmm. That is delicious. That is the best Disney soft serve I've ever had. 10 out of 10. The bird is scaring me. If it comes over here and it pecks at me, I swear to God, I count so hard. Do you know? I'm not gonna be scared of the characters. I'm gonna go in confident. I'm the main character. <laughs> You're just someone in the costume. 
girl. Anyways, let's try the buffalo chips. Now, they do look like they need some sort of dressing, and I took off the dressing. If it was ranch, I would have left it on 100%. I love ranch. You guys know that. But it's fine. It'll still taste good, I'm sure. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. This is delicious. It doesn't need dressing. Mmm. Girl, I didn't get a close up on my camera. What's wrong with me? Here are the chips. Mmm. And this green melty mess. It's giving Nickelodeon. And this is Disney. That's off brand. The chips are so crunchy and people are looking, people are looking at me. <laughs> The chips are so crunchy and salty and delicious. They taste so fresh. The buffalo chicken doesn't just taste like shredded chicken and like buffalo sauce. It tastes like an actual chicken wing somehow. I don't know how they did it, but it's really giving chicken wing. The tomato and the celery both add such a freshness, a burst of brightness. What a pretty background, right? I love it. These are incredible. 10 out of 10. Someone just scowled at me. It was a mom, she was like, <laughs> like Rosalia. Dun, 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 dun. I will say though, I don't think there's enough chicken on here because I'm almost halfway done with the chicken, but people are looking at me, am I, am I, am I an attraction? <laughs> like people are looking at me extra. Maybe it's a bright blue shirt, I don't know. But I have a lot more chips than I do chicken. I just wish there was a bit more chicken, but still incredible, 10 out of 10, amazing. Mm. I'm trying some really amazing things today. Oh, there he is. Now you can't touch him. At least that one that looked at me smiled at me, so we love that. I'll get you a picture. Okay, now this is getting busy. <laughs> What's happening? There's so many people. <laughs> I'm loving this combo. Sorry, the sun's coming out. Go away. There we go. This little snack moment was everything. So there's also this jelly donut pulled pork sandwich that I want to try. And at the same place, they also have pulled pork mac and cheese that my friend also recommended to me. So... I'm living that life, girl. Mmm. Mm -mm. Wait. Oh, the bird never passed me. Good. Well, you know what? I'm gonna face my fears and go up to it. <laughs> and squawk at it. There she is. Hey, girl. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm just gonna follow it all day. <laughs> okay, I gave up. Bye, queen. Um, guys, after I stopped filming, another person talked to me. It was this really cute couple. And um, they were like, how is the ice cream? And I was like, it's so good. It tastes like an orange cream cigar. And then they were like, aren't the buffalo chips really good? And I was like, yes, they're so salty. And then the girl was like, yes, they're so crunchy too. <laughs> okay, so I just booked the Kilimanjaro safari. It's in about 30 minutes. Um, now I have been on an actual safari in Africa. Not trying to brag, but I have. So every other safari feels like, oh, this is a show. This is entertainment. <laughs> Just kidding. I am very grateful to go on this, obviously. I'm excited to see all the animals. And I also bought a fast pass for the Avatar Flight of Passage ride, which is the best 3D ride to ever exist, at least in my opinion. It is incredible. Now I can't show y'all like the screen, but you'll be able to see my reaction to it. Um, but because that ride is newer and is popular, the Fast Pass was $14 for one person, 14 for one ride. But you know, it's worth it. It's a treat myself kind of day. Every day is a treat myself kind of day. <laughs> these dancers were so incredible. They were doing all these different acrobatic type things. And this guy moved his feet so fast. It was literally mind-boggling. Like, how do you even do that? How is that possible? Oh my gosh, guys. So I think after the safari, I am gonna um, get a fast pass for the Lion King like live show because I have only seen it once and I was around nine years old. So I don't remember it at all. So I'm so excited. I might do that after this. Okay, guys, here's the Kilimanjaro safari. I'm excited. Fun fact, I've actually seen the real Mount Kilimanjaro when I lived in Africa. So it's a little flat. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's like flat. It looks like a volcano, but I don't think it is. Is it? I don't know. And there's one of the safari truck thingies. So cool, right? Let's go on a mini voiceover safari, girlies. So this is the dirt road that we drove on. And there's me getting a little shooken up by the dirty road. And now this is the list of animals that they had up so you can like keep track, you know? Now this is a deer, I think. It's giving Bambi. So it has that Disney magic in there. This is a rhinoceros. 
Um, I couldn't really see his horn, but it was somewhere behind that leaf. Oh, there it is. See? And then this girl, I don't know what she is, but she is elegant. That's what she is. Stunning. And now there's a hippopotamus. Hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses, I feel, are like sisters, right? But one is dry and then one is soggy. That's when I noticed that my glasses looked super greasy. And then here are some zebras lounging around, eating some grass, being vegan queens. And then, come on, next clip. There's a giraffe. Once again, elegant, poised, stretched out beyond belief. Guys, the safari was so fun. The driver's microphone went out about halfway through and she did such a good job. She had to like scream the whole time. <laughs> Anyways, I got fast passes for the Lion King show in about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna head there next, yay! I think a cast member just recognized me. <laughs> I think, like, I am not like one of those people that's like, I'm on YouTube so everyone recognizes me. But I was like walking down a path and in the distance I saw like a cast member. And when she saw me, she was like, <gasps> and she was just like smiling at me. And then when I passed by, she was like, how are you doing today? And I was like, I'm good, how are you? And she was like, fine. And she just looked shooketh, but she, she didn't say that she knew who I was. And so maybe like they're not allowed to say things like that if they see someone that they recognize. Does that make sense? But she was so cute and she was so sweet. And if you're watching this, you made my day. Or I'm just delusional and you don't know who I was and you were just being nice. <laughs> we have a little floating band. How cute. Hey girl. Okay, so it's time to watch the Festival of the Lion King together, girlies. Let's do this. So this was the theater. It was very big and just a big open floor. And then these four amazing performers came out and they like introduced themselves and all that. And then some dancers came out. And then what was next? And then a massive giraffe came out. There was also a big elephant. Wait, it's coming up. Come on, dry elephant. Where are you? Wait, no. Oh, wait, that guy's flying to the moon. But where's the elephant? <laughs> I should have put the clip earlier. There she is, Lubriderm Queen. And then there is Simba. And then what? Oh, these acrobat guys were so amazing. They were flipping around, flying around, hitting the ceiling, hitting the floor. It was actually crazy. And they were very synchronized. And then this fire dancer guy was incredible. And he was a lasagna as well. And we love that. Look at, look at him go. Look at that. That's so scary. How does he do it? And then there was the I had the time of my life moment. Love that. And she was spinning around. Yes, girl. And then he kind of flung her into the air and she flew away. She's a bird, obviously. And this performer's voice was incredible. I can't even describe it. She gave me so many chills. <gasps> Lion King was incredible. Incredible. The performers were, were just amazing. The voices, the dancing. I got chills like a thousand times all over my whole face. I, I was one giant chill. I cannot recommend it enough. Like, if you're in Animal Kingdom, that is a must-see girl. Okay, guys, so I am gonna try some more snacks. I'm gonna get this jelly donut pork sandwich. <laughs> Just a little dainty snack. And baked mac and cheese with pulled pork on it. Oh my God, I'm ready. These are them. I'm ready for that, girl. I'm nervous. Okay, so this is the pulled pork donut sandwich. Jelly donut sandwich. It's very intense. And then this is the mac and cheese with the pulled pork. It has pickles on it. I love pickles. I'm so excited. And we have some friends here. Hey, queens. Hey, girlies. Looking for snacks. Okay, so let's first try the pulled pork mac and cheese with the pickles. And it's baked mac and cheese. We love baked mac and cheese on this channel. I have a pickle. I have pork. I have mac and cheese. I have barbecue sauce. I'm processing, girl. Wow, that has so much flavor. The mac and cheese tastes homemade, but it has like a light taste to it. It isn't too sharp. It tastes like a good baked mac and cheese. And then the pork, perfectly shredded. I don't dizzy. <laughs> the barbecue sauce is nice and strong, sweet, tangy. And the pickle, I think it's a bread and butter pickle. Typically, I'm not a big fan of those, but on this, it works. It's sweet, it's delicious. They put a lot of pork on here. Mm. This has been the day of amazing food so far. And we still have the buffet grill in a couple hours. Wow. Also, the pork is lean, but it's not dry. There's like no like fat flops, but it still has some moisture in it. Incredible. 
Mm. By the way, guys, this is random, but I have to say, I think that parents that come to Disney with, like, little babies, they are the bravest, most amazing people on the planet. I can barely handle myself at Disney. Like, I, I get hot, I get tired, I get bloated. I can't imagine having to take care of a little baby on top of all of that. So, parents, you are very strong, amazing. Guys, I have to say, at Lion King, I got a little, <laughs> a little bit triggered <laughs> because at the beginning of the show, they picked a few people out of the audience and they asked them for their names and to make the noise of an animal, basically, like an elephant or a giraffe. I have always had this fear, deep fear, of getting chosen at like a live show because once, you know the Monsters Inc. laugh floor at Magic Kingdom? When I was a teenager, my stutter was so much worse, right? I was so insecure about it. I would try to hide it as much as possible. And the Monsters Inc. laugh floor dramatized me, girl. I'm not even joking. I think they asked where I live or something like that. And I just like giggled and they went to the next person. It was amazing. <sighs> and now that I've gone to speech therapy, I've gotten a lot better. I'm talking to strangers more, live, laugh, loving, right? But today, when they were picking people, I was just thinking like, please don't pick me, please don't pick me. And they didn't. I mean, I am the main star, but they didn't pick me. But like some of that fear came back and I was like, oh my God, it was a little scary. But other than that, it was just an incredible show. One of the best things I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even joking. Okay, so mac and cheese is a 10 out of 10. I've been giving a lot of things today a 10 out of 10 because that's how good everything has been. Let's try the jelly donut pork sandwich. Oh, it's messy, girl. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's breathtaking. Wow, look at that. Mm. You would think it would be overwhelming, right? It's not at all. The sweetness from the donut goes so well with the pulled pork and the barbecue sauce. It's actually ridiculous. And it's not too sweet either. This is like one of the best theme park items I've ever had. I'm not joking. Mm -hmm. mm, there's a the jelly. Whoa. Mmm, the jelly with the pork, it works. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The slaw is kind of tangy and has like a sriracha y flavor to it, a little spicy. That with the jelly is like incredible. Also, the slaw has a nice crunch. This is one of the best sandwiches <laughs> I've ever had. Mmm, whoa. Look at that. That's another. 10 out of 10, girlie. Oh, I think the jelly's my favorite part. Mm, wow, I'm a mess. By the way, guys, speaking of Disney, I'm so excited for the new movie, Wish. Not sponsored. What? Who is she? Not sponsored. A leaf fell on me. Okay. I guess that's good luck or something, right? I don't know. Wish is the new Disney animated musical coming out. It's about a new Disney princess named Asha. And her song, This Wish, is already out. This this sounds sponsored. I swear it's not sponsored. I'm just a stan. And it is so catchy. I think that it's the next Let It Go. I'm not joking, girl. I think Asha is going to be that girl. She's like Elsa. I've had it on repeat this whole trip. Just stunning. So I can't wait for that. It is time for my Avatar Flight of Passage Fast Pass. I'm so excited. Do I have my teeth? I can't see. So we are gonna go to Pandora for a second, but I don't wanna look at Pandora in depth because I wanna do a whole Pandora video where I eat in Pandora for 24 hours, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think that'll be so much fun. That's why I haven't tried any of the food there today. And I'm gonna probably not spend that much time in there, but I will show you guys some stuff. <laughs> you know that you're entering Pandora when you see this. It looks like an alligator head, right? Well, this is Florida, so it's Florida Pandora. There's the Pandora floating rocks. Aren't they pretty? Pandora's pretty chill today. It doesn't feel too packed. I'm kind of shook it about it. I think this has been my most chill Disney day so far. I feel like I've organized my snacks, so I haven't gotten too full to eat anything. I have organized the rides. I feel like I'm just slaying today. Let's go under the floating rock, okay? Ooh. Oh my God, look, look at all the vines, which are probably made out of paper mache. <laughs> well, probably not paper mache, but you know, concrete or something. Does Pandora have soap? Because I think there's some soap in the water. Oh. Guys, 
the AC in here is incredible. I feel like I'm in a refrigerator. All right, travelers, are you ready to fly? That was so incredible that I'm crying. I, was <laughs> I just put in eye drops, but it was incredible. I love that ride so much. That is the best 3D ride, period. There's nothing like it. You truly feel like you are flying on a banshee. <laughs> I miss him. He's back. Okay, I'm about to go back on Everest. Cause why not girl? It's my favorite. And I'm gonna go pro again. Cause why not girl? <laughs> So I sat down for a full hour. I'm well rested and it's almost time for the dinner character dining experience at Tusker, Tusker House. That's what it's called. I'm excited. And it's a buffet. So I'm gonna try to try almost everything. If it's like vegetables, I'm not gonna try them. But if it's anything good, I'll try it. So this is the waiting area. There's like little like tables and a bar. And so I'm just waiting for my name to be called. My table's ready. It's ready 20 minutes early. I like checked in and it was like ready instantly. So it must be empty, girl. Upon receiving your text, proceed ahead through the blue doors into the Bayar Shara courtyard. Good to know. This is it, guys. I am excited. Oh my God, hello, queen. <laughs> she scared me. Oh, okay, this is cute, small, I love it. Okay, I am seated. I am waiting for the um, waiter to come and ask me what drink I want, and then um, I can get up and get food. Look at this little thing I got. It's a little postcard with all the characters I'm gonna meet. <laughs> Last time I only met Piglet and Eeyore. I might have to meet four today, girl. So I'm just gonna fake the confidence and be like, Minnie, how has it been? <laughs> oh my God, Goofy's right there. I haven't even got my drink. The waiter hasn't even uh, come to ask me what drink I want yet, I'm scared. I'm not, I'm not mentally prepared, girl. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Goofy has that impact on me, girl. Hello. Hi, Goofy. How have you been? You been good? Yeah. <laughs> Love that. That's great meeting you. It never, it never, it never. It feels right, girl. I never, I can't get out of my head. I can't do it. <laughs> Guys, I think the Goofy interaction was worse than a Piglet and Eeyore interaction. And I don't even want to watch the footage back. I might just delete it. I can't do it. Okay, guys. So we have cornbread, zebra bread, non bread, rolls. Oh my God. Meats and cheeses and grapes. Salad stuff. I love salads, but I'm not having salad tonight, sorry. Corn, green beans, chicken legs. With a bowl of ketchup, love that. We have some mashed potatoes, oh my God. Braised beef, mealy pop, I'm not sure what that is. Mac and cheese, oh, that's very cheesy. Cauliflower bunny chow, a bunch of different veggies. Jollof rice with plant-based sausage. Soup, 
African bread pudding that looks amazing, red skin potatoes, salmon, tandoori spice rubbed rotisserie chicken, tandoori sauce, oh my god, a bunch of little desserts. Ooh. What is that? Oh my god, pineapple tarts. Look at that. Sorry, oh, oh, oh it's totally fine. It just, I can just um, cut it up. Do you have a clicker so you can do it from a No, I don't. I just <laughs> That's too that high tech for me. I just know some people do. Yeah. <laughs> because you think it's too high tech for you. <laughs> so the lighting's kind of bad, guys. I'm sorry. But the waitress came. She's so nice. She got me some water, which is what I asked for. And this is the first plate. We got the braised beef, jollof rice, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese and i forget the name of this but it looks like some sort of a corn dish maybe it all smells incredible i wish you guys could see the food too <laughs> the table's not long enough for me to show you everything i'm sorry we have a paper straw because we're in animal kingdom so it's all about the turtles love that let's first try the mashed potatoes This is what fancy mashed potatoes taste like. They always have a very simple, creamy flavor, but they're always extremely buttery and salty, and they melt in your mouth. And they have the skins on them, so it adds some extra vitamins. Incredible. Oh, Daisy's right there. Hi, Daisy. You're looking stunning. <laughs> nice to see you. You want to say hi to the camera? Hi! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. I was still awkward, but I think a little less awkward. I think I made a little more conversation this time. I called her stunning. <laughs> oh, it's too large. So mashed potatoes are a 10 out of 10. Perfection. Class in a, in a bite. Now let's try this braised beef. Focus, Ariana, please. Oh, oh my God. Oh. It fell on the table. I'm sure it's clean. Girl, that melts in your mouth. Oh my goodness gracious. Mm. It tastes like barbacoa from Chipotle but fancier with a deeper flavor there's a bit more of a cinnamony flavor here happening too and a bit more cumin it literally falls apart it's incredible i'm sorry the lighting's so bad guys i can't i can't do anything about it but that beef is that girl also it doesn't have like blobs of fat like chipotle's barbacoa does and i love the barbacoa it's just it's too risky sometimes wowie wowie wow wow these potatoes no i can't stop Mm. I am trying to take small bites of everything so I can try everything, you know? Okay, now let's try the mac and cheese. These noodles are extremely saucy. It's almost like a soup of mac and cheese sauce. <laughs> oh my God. Based on the appearance, I was expecting like a Panera mac and cheese, you know? Like the white cheddar mac and cheese. This has a totally different flavor. It's sweeter. It's super tangy. It's like really tart. Oh my god. It doesn't have that homemade vibe. It has a totally different thing going on. It's incredible. Um, it also has like a, like a mustardy flavor. <laughs> Some of the best mac and cheese I've had in my life. In my life. But it is very different. Like don't expect normal mac and cheese. When you eat this, there's something else, girl. Wow. 10 out of 10. <laughs> so far, the three things I've tried were a 10 out of 10. I'm shook it. Mm, sorry. I'm trying the jollof rice now. This rice. You know, I've I've never had jollof rice. I don't, I, like, I'm not sure what that is. Is that Donald? Or Daisy, I can't tell. I think it's Donald coming now. Should I call him stunning too? I mean, he should expect it, girl. Look at the shirt. <laughs> so the jollof rice has a really good flavor, but I can't describe it. It's so interesting. There's a little bit of maybe nutmeg in there? I don't know. It's so different, but I really, really like it. Now, I don't know how it's supposed to be prepared, but the rice does taste a little undercooked to me. 
just a, just a smidge. It's like a little grainy on the inside. You know what I mean? But flavor-wise, it's fantastic. What is that? There's sort of like a red pepper flavor too. It's boggling my mind right now. But because it is a little grainy, I'm gonna have to give it an eight out of 10 and not a 10 out of 10, but still great flavor. Now let's try this. I forget the name, but it looks like some sort of a corn pudding maybe. Definitely corn. Mmm. You know like corn pudding like at Thanksgiving? It's kind of like that, but it's much more liquid. And it's not just sweet, it's also tangy. Uh, like Thanksgiving corn pudding is like really sweet and like that's it, you know? There's a strong tang to this. How are you, Tom? <laughs> you say hi? <laughs> you like the camera? Uh, especially because you can yeah. see it, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a mirror, right? Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Down. Okay. <laughs> not that type of down. <laughs> wow. Oh, should I do it? Are you going to do it? Yeah, I guess the heart's chicken. <laughs> Was that okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Oh, you're hiring me. I hired you. Thank you. I think that was alright. <laughs> you know, I have such a low bar. I'm like, any type of full sentence that comes out of my mouth is a win. You know, so. <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to it. I can't do it. Okay. Yeah, the corn thing is really good. Sweet, tangy. It almost has a cream cheese flavor to it, but like cream cheese with a hint of extra tang. Some of these dishes are are hard to describe because my basic taste buds can't comprehend it. <laughs> I'm like, does this taste like Taco Bell? I'm giving the corn thing a 7 out of 10. It's great, but I don't know if I would eat it all the time. You get me. But guys, the first plate ate. The mac and cheese, the mashed potatoes, and the braised beef were the standout. I'm shook it. Okay. I have met three characters out of four, I think, so I just have one to go. Yay! We have our second plate. We have some cornbread. We have naan with hummus, house-made hummus, chicken curry, a piece of red skin potato, more mac and cheese, because I just wanted more, girl. <laughs> Sorry. And chicken tandoori with tandoori sauce. Oh my god. Okay, so let's try the cornbread. <laughs> That's yeah. different. Focus. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. 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 At first I was like, I don't know about this, but then the full flavor hit and I was like, this is some of the best cornbread I've had. You know, it tastes more like corn than normal cornbread does. Does that make sense? It has a very strong corn flavor. Super moist, a little less cakey than typical cornbread and more like bread bread. Does that make sense? It's so moist. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Let's try the hummus with the non bread. Okay. <laughs> that is some of the best hummus I've ever had. I'm not a hummus expert, but this is so incredibly garlicky. Like 10 times more, more garlicky than your store-bought hummus. and so limey and salty. So much flavor. Also, it isn't too pasty. It has a little bit of texture to it, which I love. Mmm. And the non bread itself is really soft, really good. Another 10 out of 10. What is up with this place? It's so good. Almost everything is amazing. Like, I'm shook it right now. I'm shaking. Now, let's try this chicken curry. I love curry so much. Oh my god. The chicken is so tender. It has so much flavor. It's really salty. Almost too salty, but it's right there to the point where it's just perfect. It's really tomatoey. It has some heat to it. And I love that it's more of like a soupy broth than like a super thick sauce. Does that make sense? One of the most flavorful curries I've ever had. And the rice is perfect too. Another 10 out of 10. Now let's try the red skin potato. It did get some curry sauce on it, so the flavor might not be totally accurate. Mmm, it's like a big french fry. KFC potato wedge, but with more of a humany flavor. It's extremely tender, 
almost almost to the point of being a buttery on the inside. You know what I'm talking about? The skin is a little bit crunchy. It's a perfect, perfect potato. Everything's amazing. Amazing. So nice. Love her. Oh my god. That potato had so much flavor. 10 out of 10. I'm shook. I can't recommend this place enough, guys. Okay, now let's try this tandoori chicken. Now, I think it does have a bone. Here, perfect. I got a big chunk without a bone. And all the sauce. <laughs> That's one of the best things I've had here so far. Mm -hmm. The tandoori sauce is next level. It's slightly curryish, but it has much more of a heavy cream flavor to it. It's a tiny bit of heat. Smokiness, it's very smoky. Oh my god. The chicken itself, I think, is like more like a like rotisserie moment, but the sauce really brings the chicken to life. That sauce, I, like I could put that sauce on everything forevermore. That is incredible. That's another 10 out of 10. Okay, so now it's time for dessert. The main event, let's be real here. Okay, I got the bread pudding. It has blueberries and bananas in it. That looks incredible. I got the African cookie, plant-based chocolate mousse, the pineapple tart. See, that looks so pretty. And a brownie. Yay! Let's first try the cookie. It has a very shiny look to it. It almost looks like um, baklava. You know what I'm talking about? You know, it isn't the type of cookie that I'm used to. It tastes like crushed up almonds with frosting on top. That's honestly the, like sugary almonds. So it's not bad, but it's almost more like a nut bar. That's the vibe. Almost like a, like a granola bar or something. It's not bad, but it's not my thing. So I'm gonna have to give it a three out of 10. Thank you so much. When you're ready, but no hurry at all. Thank you so much. Let's try the plant-based chocolate mousse. It's tiny and adorable. Oh, Ooh, that's strong. You know, typically plant-based things tend to taste a little odd. This doesn't. This, this tastes like a real milky piece of chocolate, but it's really sweet, really extremely rich. And I don't think it's my thing. I do like that there's like a hard chocolate shell and on the inside is the mousse. But overall, I feel like the mousse maybe should have a less sweet flavor to balance out that sweet shell. Right now, everything is too sweet and it's just a lot. So I have to give that one a two out of 10, I'm sorry. So let's try the blueberry and banana bread pudding. Now I typically love, love bread pudding. I'd be shocked if I didn't like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's chunks of bananas in it. Oh my god, yes. That is it, girl. That is the dessert queen right there. It's warm. It's gooey. It's cakey. It doesn't have your typical cinnamony bread pudding flavor. This has a blueberry banana almost freshness to it. That really makes it stand out, but it still has the feeling of bread pudding, like the warm, the happiness. And it's not too sweet at all. And then the icing on on top makes it perfectly sweet. 10 out of 10, perfection. Wouldn't change a thing. The pineapple tart. Oh. It's the meringue. Mm. This is delicious. I'm not a big meringue person. I could have done without it and just have the pineapple with the crust. But this pineapple filling is amazing. I think like a lemon pie, like that texture. No, sorry, a lemon bar. That texture, that feel, but pineapple flavored and not tart. Stunning, stuck in it, my teeth sunk right into it. And then the crust is just the perfect crust. This is delicious. I'm gonna give it a nice nine out of 10. Pineapple tart. I'm full, guys. I gotta be honest, I'm real full. So I'm taking small bites right now. <laughs> sorry. But I made it through the whole day without feeling too full to eat. So that's amazing. Last but not least, the brownie. Hi, Goofy. You're back? <laughs> Welcome back. How have you been? You been good? Me? Oh. Oh, are you hungry? You're full. You ate a lot. Oh, too much and you're sweating from it? Oh. <laughs> Me too. I am super full right now. 
I can't handle any more. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> he came back, girl. Wait, I haven't seen Mickey, so I might get to avoid him. The brownie. You know what? I think it's less flavorful than a typical brownie, like a box of brownie. I think it has less flavor. More like a really dense chocolate cake, but kind of like a, like a non-rich one. It isn't rich enough. Look, some things are too rich, some things aren't rich enough. This is not rich enough. I'm gonna have to give the brownie a four out of 10. It's not horrible. It, it's still a brownie, but it's not fully serving brownie. Do you get me? This meal was incredible. I think that I did better with the characters than I did last time, besides the first goofy interaction. That was bad, I'm sorry. But I think that I upgraded myself a little bit. <laughs> More practice and almost all the food was incredible. So I'm so happy about that. Of course, I'm gonna end the video in a special way. I love to do that. <laughs> I'll see you then. I'm gonna end the video right here. Do you see it? Thank you guys for spending this amazing day with me. I had so much fun. Remember to like and subscribe. And also, I am moving to Orlando next month. So a lot of more theme park content is coming. Subscribe. I love you guys. I'll see you next video. Bye.